As for uh, um, general paradigm, people live and being around drug addicts, right? Being in the hustle of the game, being around it. One of Dave Chappelle, the Bigums. You know, uh, drugs. Why did God create them? Why did He? You know, a lot of people talk about your know, God uh, created herbs, right? He created everything. Well, why is it that drugs have a bad name? Is it that drugs have a bad name, or the people that use them? Most of the time, um, in my experience, uh, I went to and fro using the words of guests of Satan, and I've been here and there. But, uh, you know, I've been around. Have I, do I know at this point a righteous man? Have I ever met one? Have I, well, the thing is, is that most people get cursed by God in life. By God. It's mad at them and curses them. And you get your bigums, right? You gotta artificially make yourself happy. Artificially, you, you see, you did something that got God mad and got cursed, and therefore you artificially don't you don't go to God to fix it. Okay, God, I don't feel right. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I could have messed up with you. I'm in prayer. How do I fix it? But they they go to artificial, do it themselves. You know, cocaine and heroin. But, what was drugs made for? Well, it was made for the righteous. It really was. It, uh, to help them cope with torment uh, from an evil um, peoples. They know in moderation to do it safely. To try to do it within the law if you can. Then. Why was drugs made? See, drugs, again, have a bad name because those that often abuse them and use them are the ones that God's mad at. And they act accordingly because they're doing the will of Satan while on drugs. I'm not advocating people run out and uh, proclaim their self-righteousness to go there for to do drugs. So, do, you, do you have a faith with God? Have you endured a lifetime of doing that which God would have you do? Suffering for Him? Ask your heart, ask your soul, your spirit. What what will that attest to? You can't lie. You can try to fool yourself, but the truth is the truth. And to lie to yourself is only to deceive yourself it is a fool fool's way of going about it because therefore You'll believe your own lie only uh, to live to never find truth. Never lie to yourself to try to convince yourself of the lie being the truth. That in fact you're doing it for self-gain. That, oh yes, I can do cocaine or heroin because God allows me. Again, your heart will testify one day, maybe, maybe, if indeed uh, it's calling a question your your works or your and it will be forced to tell the truth about you and your goings on. It won't lie for you. So remember that. And you'll know when it testifies if you're caught up in uh, the judgment as God is judging you for uh, the degree of hell that you go to or or the other judgment that is a, is a um, treasure judgment of your good works to what shall God, what treasure in heaven shall God bestow for you for eternity? For doing these good works to evaluate your life to say, well, you, what have you done for the?
kingdom of God. What have you suffered for me? Well, I was watching you. What you suffered through and endured for the kingdom of heaven. When you were doing that certain thing, I had this treasure in mind. Look at this. That's what your dad got for you. 